go go get some coffee buns. Jesse are just as bad as each other. Of course we are. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is Aaron's car. He's had it for many, many years. And he's selling it. It used to be his daily. Now he's going to a Rodeo. But he's using this money to um, get his 86, or get part of his 86 done. So we're taking it on a, uh, a last sort of hurrah out to uh, the shops and yeah. I keep telling people and they don't believe me. I'm not a weeb. Yes, you are. So when you sell this thing, what's the first thing you're gonna do to the 86? Sandblast. Sandblast. So I get the shell back to bare, bare bones, know where all the rust is. Yeah. Get, get the bodywork done first. And, you know, get the, that's the worst part of any build. That's the most demotivating thing to do. <laughs> So get that out of the way, get the car painted first. Yeah. Then go to the engine, get it redone. Yeah. And then get all the driveline shit. I've got some, hopefully a better turbo and an FC front brake upgrade sorted. Well, you had most of the FC brake upgrade there, didn't you? No, nah, I had some Hilux fucking hybrid thing. Oh, ew. I had some Civic, Civic rotors because that's what they use. Yeah. And some LM106 calipers because they're four piston calipers. Yeah, right. But Matt's got a Corolla at his place from his mate that he's had there for fucking ages. He's not doing too well health-wise at the moment. Who, hey, Matt? No, not Matt, his friend. Oh, okay. Because his, his mate's got a GZD fucking turbo KE70 sitting there. Right. And then he's probably at some point he's going to be parting it out. So I'm like, cool, well, I want dips on the site, like a non-Chinese turbo. And who is a Grant Scott? No, it wasn't Grant Scott, it's not. No, it's one of his other mates. No. And yeah, he's got FC brakes on it already, so it's like sweet, take that. It's got a four-link rear end in it as well, like the the one that's in the shell that I got off you. No no no, like a proper adjustable rear ended. Right, okay. Standard one. Except for all the rose joints are all fucked in it. Yeah. So he's just like, uh, we'll just probably get a T3 kit or something. What do you think of the one I do, uh, what I did to yours? Cut the springs. <laughs> oh man, if that's, what, if that's you know cost effective way to get you going. Oh man, I, I should get you to bounce on the car when we get back. Oh, it's just as stiff could, as a brick. It's as stiff as a brick. It um. It definitely doubled the, the spring rate because now it's uh it's the tires that bounce and that's about it. Shit. Alrighty, welcome back. It is day ten. Um, we are going to do some work to that one and get that one running. Um, I have to pull the brake master cylinder off of it today. Um, try and get a price at the uh, brake place, the local brake place, um, and probably look at replacing that in the next couple of days. Um, 
as well as spark plugs. Um, so we're gonna put some spark plugs in it. If we can get the brake master, we might take it for a lap around the block this weekend. Fingers crossed. So anyway, that one's the hardest, so we're gonna do that one first. Um, and yeah, we'll get to it. So as you saw from the video, my mate Aaron came around last night. He works at Repco and he uh, hooks me up on the parts that I have to order in so I don't have to stand around waiting at Napa and then come back two days later to pick them up. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he came, dropped them off um, and showed me his Levin a, a good time considering he's selling it as of next week. Um, so he brought me spark plugs for that car. Um, and for this car, he brought me a tie rod end. So currently, this tie rod is not connected. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a pain to push around. So what we're going to do is we're going to jack this side up, get that tie rod on, do an eye alignment for it real quick, just so it's easy enough to push around to the yard. Um, and then later on, we'll, uh, we'll get out the string and the tape measure and we'll do a half decent eye alignment so yeah all right so we got our wheel off um so 861s have these weird little clamp together instead of like the the, the nut that twists onto them so we're going to thread that on do that up make it nice and tight and yeah have some steering on the uh, the opposite side now so tie rod is now on um, split pin is in it's all tensioned up so we'll put the wheel back on we'll give it a couple of turns on the ground and see how it feels So you could probably already tell um, there's a little bit of toe in on this side. Um, what that is actually is an adjustment issue with the driver's side. So we have to thread that in so we can pull this one back out. Or tow it out, out more if you will. Um, and then we shouldn't end up with that scrubbing issue. Um, but it's very much a case of I have to get onto both sides at the same time and play around with it. Um, I'm not too worried about that at the moment so I'm just gonna give it a turn now and just see how it feels.
So as you can see that one's still towed in a little um, and then that one's towed in as well. So if I get to the steering or the tie rod end, put that further down the thread, should come up with nice straight steering. So yeah, that's uh, it's probably the next step, but for right now, that's at least a problem sorted. I can turn the turn the wheels and push it around the yard. Right now the other 8.6, so we're going to quickly pull the plugs out and then we're going to change, we'll pull that brake master cylinder off um, and then we're going to take it down the shop and see what the go is. Alright, so as you can see it's all out now. I'm pretty sure it's been leaking right out of this seal here um, because it's been dripping all the way down the back of that um, and it's like got brake fluid everywhere on like the rail and everything like that so um, all inside that little hole filled with brake fluid um, all along the rail here covered in brake fluid and then I mean that doesn't look particularly healthy or nice either so So, um, I've been to the parts place, um, they did confirm that the rear seal had in fact been leaking, which was what my suspicion was in the first place. Um, they can get another part in, they've ordered it in, um, however it's currently 3 o'clock, um, I'm still waiting for it to show up, so, yeah, basically just sitting around here twiddling my thumbs until I can put that back together, um, and then give it a good bleed and try and give it a drive then. Um, in the free time I've had basically I've, uh, I've already started editing this video. Um, I already got the stuff off the camera, took it upstairs and to be perfectly honest with you I'm already 100% more happy with it. I've spent an hour and I've got four minutes worth of footage done so um, I think it's been longer than an hour too so um, yeah I feel a lot less stressed about it so I think this is this is definitely the way that it's probably going to continue going on. Um, just because, yeah, I, I mean, I can pick up that part later and I can add it on to the end of the video and it can go up tomorrow, same as always, and it's still, yeah. So um, I imagine tomorrow's video is going to be in part putting that together, putting it back together, um, bleeding up that brake, and uh, hopefully, yeah, probably going for a drive. Um, yeah, so um, we'll see when we get this part. I'll uh, run down and grab it. Gotta go do some shopping while I'm at it. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll get back here and uh, I'll see what I can do. I mean, if we get it early enough, we might be able to uh, chuck it in straight away. Might not be able to bleed it straight away, but we might be able to chuck it in straight away, so. Yeah, either way, fingers crossed. Alright, so, 
got the part, but you can probably tell it's getting a little dark, heading towards that time of day. So that becomes a tomorrow's video problem. Yeah. So either way, um, that's going to be me for the day. Um, I'll be on that tomorrow. That one there. Um, and I'll probably go to my mate's house, the one with the JZX100. Um, it's having trouble starting now, so we're going to do some things, try to get it to start. We'll probably start pulling it apart for, uh, you know, we have to fix, well, we're going to try and fix some of that damage in the back, um, but otherwise, that should be tomorrow's video. Either way, peace out, I'll see you then.